good morning friends my topic is on the heart cataract and the shallow chamber first we are going to cover the heart cataract because feco is now a uh, routine surgery the, for the treatment of cataract and sometimes we come encounter the so many complicated procedures or difficult situation like postpolic cataract covered by the ikeda and this so what are the options the bruisons because it is type of the cataract and we try to convert into sics some but most of the time we can manage this with the feco also because there is a problem associated with this loose zonule low endothelial cell count shallow anterior chamber pseudo exfoliation and sometimes there is a mostly associated with inadequate pupillary dilatation and lead to difficulty in surgery and less than the ideal out outcome so we need a priority evaluation for is good for, uh, is successful management understand the situation and employ specific strategy to overcome this intimate obstacle lack of there is a lack of good red reflex capsular lenticular block in hydro dissection in lead to high energy lead to incision burn and there is a endothelial cell loss which can uh, and there is a possibility of post capsular rupture or much more because of the weak zonules and more energy and manipulation so that should be a step by step anesthesia you have to consider anesthesia depending on the patient incision rexis hydro dissection and nucleus management we come to the nucleus management you can have a topical peribulbar if there is a small pupil pupil patient is not cooperative weak zonule so try to do it in the peripheral anesthesia incision it should be ideal is a uh, corneal or limbal incision you should not use too long incision because of the compression of feco sleeves while manuing it lead to corneal burn and if it too short repeated iris prolapse and may lead to the small pupil this is how this small pupil uh, mid dilated pupil with this and lack of good red reflex it impedes the capsular axis step risk of disrupting the edge with the chopper or feco tip capsule stain and so you should try to give a larger rexis and you just mentioning that and because of the pupil limit dilatation you try to cover it to up to the pupillary margin so you can get a good well large capsular rexis and the hydro dissection posterior capsule is thinner in the rock hard cortex complete cortical cleaving hydro dissection using a continuous fluid wave can result in a capsular blowout so gentle multi corded hydro dissection with gentle tape should be attempted and nucleus rotation should be gentle use a good dispersive viscoelastic because of the leathery posterior nuclear plate use of long chopper i will come directly to the video this is one of the you can see that you go on debulking this push the chopper to the periphery and take it out and disengage again engage so you can come up to the center portion of the this another don't push too hard because is a resistance is there so there should be higher power and slow motion so don't you will not injure the zonules and again give slight feco and with the chopper this can and again reengage so you can extend this you are cut up to the central portion of this eye again so uh give me the last video with it so surgical changes are there and i will go one of the option with this is to have you can i will showing to the feco you can have an option of using the femtocatec the femtocatec is a femto surgery is now a recent thing and probably there are few stresses where it can be of a help to us which soften the nucleus this is a mild dilated pupil which soften the nucleus and we can you can see very uh, central circular axis is mild dilated pupil 
nucleus is cracked into multiple so it reduces your energy reduces stress on the genules and you can perform very well the just surgery very well with the help of the femtocatrex so this is femtocatrex is not exactly necessary but then it is one of a uh, good choice for doing in a hard cataract now i skip to my next next presentation okay then again there is an shallow chamber the difficulty is there it reduces already tight confines of the anterior segment of the eye because there is a, so now your endothelial is very near to the your phaco probe they are the where you get the narrow angle glaucoma hypermature cataract so difficulty in clear corneal vid many times you enter and you injure the pupil uh, iris and chances of pupil getting small is much more capsular axis is difficult viscoelastic is coming i chances of endothelial damage is more and iris prolix is more so you have to assess the exactly case is the lens very dense the postesynica is there what is the status of endothelium acute conioscopy this is the preoperative when you are backup strategy in mind because you may lead into the drop of the nucleus prepare with the trepon blue molygen ring iris suit because chances of the people going small is much more with this shallow chamber sometimes the peribulbar and uh, topical lens are integrate you should convert into the peribulbar or subtend lenses make use good viscoelastic to chamber deep increase raise the bottle height and decrease the flow rate so and there is an option if you get repeated deep shallow chamber that pars plana vitrex tape can be done or vitrectomy and not a, not a tape but core pars plana vitrectomy to reduce the vitreous pressure and so corneal incision should not be short i will just go to the rexis what are the option that why is difficult this is good we have taken all viscoelastic everything is there and once you go in because of the posterior surge this rexis go out so these are the few problem with the shallow chamber direct chop is as dr shop is mentioned and the back emulsion fiction is necessary and use the frequent viscoelastic this is one of the case of you can see that repeatedly the chamber is becoming shallow we are using good viscoelastic viscot and like especially viscot is much help because it doesn't come out you need and vis good rexis because once the chamber become shallow that rexis go out so you have to be careful use the viscoelastic in between the pro rexis procedure also you can see that there is always that pupil is coming out just you remove the probe and that fluctuating pupil this not because it is not well dilated it is well dilated but because of the shallow chamber and posterior pressure it is fluctuating so go on doing so gentle maneuver is much more necessary with this and then go on safely repeated viscoelastic injection assess that there is no extra other pressure from the outside and you can complete the procedure safely keeping the nucleus in pupillary plane peco probe in pupillary plane and this is the same probably occlusive pupillary shallow chamber i will just move fast you can very well do with this spatula just in fact with the viscoelastic you get a passage where you can go inside the iris so stretch it you may use molygen ring in this and but cataract is soft you can manage with this so your strategy depend on whether the cataract is soft or hard once this is small chamber is shallow you gradually and slowly keeping the rexis portion toward the periphery so 
you have adequately large rexes and once again you can notice the fluctuation because the chamber is shallow and iris was traumatized because we have separated the cyanic air so there is a slight fluffiness of the iris so it go on coming so you have to keep your aspiration slightly on the lower side slightly bottle is higher in the aspiration flow rate load so iris doesn't come you can notice that fluctuation of the iris is coming so you should be careful while handling the, at this point so you may if your aspiration is much higher you will just iris will come into this so you should be careful at this point and slowly gently with the repeated injection of viscoelastic you can perform so you have to keep uh, the patient this type of the cases so in conclusion short with the use of good fluidics appropriate viscoelastic and surgical techniques you can give a very good outcome and the friends i invite you all for the next 77th all india conference at indore i welcome you all to indore thank you